cigar smoke, though. Rudy was smoking, but I don't know if it was a cigar. Someone's walking outside of the second story veranda. Who could it be? Hello? Someone with a hat going around to the other side. Quick, Rudy. Look out. Look outside. Talk, Rudy. You know, Laura, you're very... Okay, Rudy. Tell about window. Who cares? Tell about plant. So what? Uh... Bye. No one's in here. I wonder where it goes to, but there is no... Step back. Close door. There's no shoot here. I mean, no way to get in without dying. Leave them alone. Open window. Why not try a door? What door? <laughs> hmm. On the opposite wall, so that would be like the wall back here. I bet we have to find it first. Nothing important in there. All right, that's the garden down there. Colonel's fine. Elevator is here. So maybe I should bring it down. Sneak. Crawl. I don't think I can sneak by without getting spotted. Maybe. <gasps> really? Okay. It doesn't appear that this room has been used in a long time. However, it currently seems to be the guest room for Wilbur Seafields. Great. Murphy bed has been pulled down for Dr. Field to sleep on. It is a doctor bag. Look, bag. Yep, open bag. So leave it alone. Shh. A 
if we're not getting anything found out in the crates. Maybe this is also like a hiding place. Hide. Duck. What was here? What if we tell the colonel about... If we just rat on people about Rudy and... Fifi. Although it seemed like it was not... A thing that Fifi wanted. Stay out of my elevator! Tell about... Poor girl do her work. Okay. Okay. Cheery. Cheery, cheery, cheery. The miniature replica of a cannon from the Spanish American War. Okay. Uh, tell. Whatever. Good night. Grumpy. I don't know where everybody went, but people definitely shuffled back around. I gotta start finding some keys or something. Get into the basement. What is this? Nothing. Looks like there's something on the vanity. Everyone's suitcases are locked. <laughs> I don't know. Rudy and Clarence. Clarence was like the lawyer or whatever. All right, ask about Clarence. We'd all be much better off if my uncle would just get rid of him. Oh. Uncle Henry and I don't always agree on the proper way which one should lead their life, but he'll soon come around. Ask about... Or she's just resting in her room. She was, and now she's gone. Sister's a swell girl, and I don't like to have people say otherwise. You know, I've always been a little leery of her. I'm not sure she's all there, if you know what I mean. Ask about doctor. You don't want to go near that old ledge. Ask about... Are we forgetting anybody? Probably. Everyone seems to be boozing heavily. Convenient. Hmm. How's this closet? Still empty? No bodies? Oh. <laughs> Murdered. Guess it wasn't that empty. Alright, I think the only thing that we did was <laughs> ask about murder. 
Let's talk to Rudy some. We haven't found... Surely there's a secret passage up here. How did you die? I opened the closet and somebody pulled me in and murdered me. I was being too snoopy. Okay, Fifi's in her room. Can we talk to her? Oh, she has a record playing. Knock? No, not Nocturne. Flirt. Fit. Yeah, fit. Fill. Fleur de Lis? That's not what it's called. What's this called? Oh, shoot. That is what it's called, and I don't know how to pronounce it. I probably did just try, and then failed. Talk. Maybe. Oh, mademoiselle, excuse me, but you should not even be in here. Why not? I love working for Henry. He's a wonderful boss. He has nothing but trouble. He is harmless, mademoiselle. Do not worry about the, don't worry about the doctor. I am getting some mix Mixed messages and mixed volumes. <laughs> Thanks, Knight. So I probably can't take the record while she's here. What about it? Uh... The dog belongs outside. Uh. To an old sourpuss. I do not like to talk, but Mademoiselle Prune does not like me. She always gives me dirty looks. Ask about. She was much like her mother. Henry should keep his eyeballs on that family. Ask about uh, Clarence, I think was the last one. Do not like that man at all. Okay. Uh, what about... Uh, I don't know. Good question. Hmm. I mean, I know we're going to get murdered. Oh, what, what? Honey, if you found any items you're confused about or would like more information about, try showing it to others. They may reveal some more information about it to you. I don't have any items. Thanks, Daddy. Telepathic Daddy. Take axe. Joints of the armor hopelessly rusted. You can't move any part of it. That's suspicious. I'm surprised we didn't die, though. Nothing down here. Can I just say, like, go kitchen? <laughs> Oh, we did pick up a handkerchief. We could show that to people. I should have showed that to Fifi.
Now, now, child, ain't no use getting yourself upset. Uh, things have a way of working themselves out. Well, what happened? I know, Sally, but it just doesn't seem right. Oh, hi, Laura. Yeah, what a good friend to invite me here and ditch me. I'm busy. What are you making? No, what are you making? What is it? On the table. Tomorrow's bread on the kitchen table. Ooh, I want some. What you want, Laura? I don't know what's wrong with him. I went in to say hello and he didn't and told me to leave him alone. He didn't used to treat me like that. Ask about doctor. He's as bad as Mr. Sparrow. Oh, that's, uh... How's your mama doing these days? Oh, you know mother. Ask about mother. Ask about... Glurdy. Ask about... Gloria. My cousin isn't as great as she pretends to be, and I happen to know she was involved in a scandal in Hollywood, and will never work there again. Ask about Ethel. Ethel was the other one. I'm gonna have to write these down. Yikes. Uh, Rudy. Rudy gambles a lot, thinks he owes a lot of money. Mr. Sparrow may be able to pull my uncle, but he doesn't pull me. Okay, show... Lil... Lillian... <laughs> Hanker... Chief... God damn it. Show Lillian... Hanker... Chief... Oh god, I before ye except after C? Chief, like chief. It did. Dang it, Dad, you were so right. It looks familiar. Wow, worth it. Alright, Sally. Doesn't look familiar to you. Make the best bread, Sally. I just love it. Be piping hot tomorrow morning. Can I open the icebox? Aha! A leftover soup bone. As it might come in handy, you grab it and take it with you? Of course! I feel like if I show Sully that, she's gonna be like, what the hell are you doing with that? I need that for soup. <laughs> like... Nope. It's mine now. You know, Polly, you really understand me, don't you, huh? Okay, let's talk. Talk Gertie? Talk Ethel. Ethel's more interested in the parrot. She doesn't seem to notice you. Take parrot. Ouch! It bit me. Oh, who's that? Oh, it's you, Laura. Uh, huh? Ethel looks at you blearily. Don't know that Ethel's gonna be helping us too much. Ethel doesn't even look at it. Okay, take on yak. I don't, but I could take it away. <laughs> I don't have a cracker. I have a soup bone. For the dog, I guess, maybe? Eee. 
not look familiar to me. Ask when I'm prune about it. Isn't that who she called Lillian? And Lillian said it looked familiar? Cared about Henry. Uh, you're not gonna know anything about it. So many rooms. The window's closed and the plant is back. in here but there is a record playing now oh hi oh my god I didn't even see you all right then we're gonna have to stop the music Gloria sorry I need you to pay attention Is it over? Do we just have to wait? Gloria! Shit. do anything with this. Oh. Oh yeah, we were supposed to look out here. Oh dear, it looks as if Gertie has accidentally fallen from her upstairs window and killed herself. Or was it an accident? Wait. <laughs> Gertie has accidentally fallen from her upstairs window and killed herself. Or was it an accident? Was it an accident? Or was it an accident? Maybe that's what it means. Gertie! Oh dear. Um. It's... I can't look. Uh. Gertie's dead, all right. Okay. Loot corpse. I mean, her beads look kind of broken, but I don't know. Maybe we need them to show some. We gotta tell somebody. I don't really trust our friend at the moment, but. Not many other people are listening to us. Help tell about Gertie. That can't be true, Laura. I'll go see. Okay. 
short time later. Oh, you're just imagining things, Laura. Oh. Somebody moved the body. That can't be right. That can't be right. Wait. I know I already showed it to you. Damn it, Lillian. What kind of friend? Hey, I'm so proud of him. He's graduating from college, you know. He's dead and nobody cares. Where did they hide the body? She was old anyway. What the fuck? Okay. Two suspicious scummies. I can't go on with this any longer. I must tell him about... Quiet. No, nobody sees us. Let's go into the house to continue this discussion. Okay. They're going into... Shoot and a half. What room is that? We don't have a secret way to get in there. And pop. So it's not this room. But I need to get I need to get in the wall of this room. This song is broken. This song is broken. song is broken. Ah. Gonna get... They're not gonna continue to talk as soon as I... Oh, oh. Uh... Wait, what room was this one? I need to draw a map. <laughs> They're gone. Like anything? You wouldn't know how to use a spear, but that one did point out it being a spear in particular in the text. Kind of interesting. Hmm. Wait, maybe they didn't go directly into this room. Maybe we can go into the wall and find them. Yes. Oh, 
Whoops, that's not what I meant to do. <laughs> look. No, look uh, through eyes. Well, I don't care what she thinks, especially Gertie and that conniving daughter of hers. I gotta start writing down who's who. I think I'll have a drink. Hey, Polly. I think it's Lillian, whose cousin is Gloria. Whose brother is Rudy. Oh yes! We found them! It's just not right. We've got to tell him about it. That's been really interesting so far. No, it'll work out, Wilbur. I've got some plans. How are you going to replace that hundred grand we took from Henry? Where would you get that kind of money? I know people. I can do it. Trust me. Why were we so stupid as to buy into a racehorse anyway? And to use Henry's money, we should have known better. It would have worked out, Wilbur. It wasn't our fault that the fucking horse broke its leg. Oh no. All I can say, Clarence, is that you'd better do something fast because if you don't, I'm fessing up. Just don't be stupid and say something. Gotta go. Remember, don't say nothing. Oh, what do we do with this information? Oh, yeah, it seems like it. <laughs> okay. It's still in there. Hmm. I mean, if we go and tell Henry, A, I don't think he's going to believe us, he's just, or whatever, he's just going to say, get out! And be super cheery. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. That's going to fall on somebody. Uh... Rudy at all. Why would I tell Rudy? Rudy needs money too. The old quack. Good talk. It does. It does have hollow eyes also. I just haven't figured out how to get to it yet. Oh, maybe through the bathroom. Maybe. I don't think we could open the linen cabinet. It's in the wastebasket. Anything yet? Yeah. Uh, look in bath. I mean, why not? Could have been evidence in there.
Basic pedestal sink. Just don't take a shower. Oh no, we're dead for sure. We've already died two, three times, I think. I don't trust that cat or this vase. Can't get in here. Nothing important in there, even though it seems like a perfect way to get into a secret secret wall. Oh yeah, the closet was the other closet. <laughs> Three ways, I think. Stare at cat. I don't. It would be very cat-like. That's what I was thinking. Maybe we'll try to pet it. We can pet the dog. Oh yeah, we have a bone. Not understood. Let's see if we can do anything with the dog with the bone. It might be too soon, so I don't know what we would need to lead it to or anything, but... Also, I haven't stepped out, like, this way. What a wonderful view of the old plantation house. From here, you can almost imagine what it must have been like during its glory days. Colonel's, uh, a statue appears to resemble the colonel in full officer's regalia. Hmm. We were standing by the south edge of the bayou island, looking towards a great old plantation house. An old road runs alongside the plantation's front wrought iron fence. Looks like both of the fireplaces are going now. Two? I think there were two? At least two. No, there were definitely more than two. We just leave. A weather-beaten dock extends from the island's edge out into the alligator-infested bayou. Probably not then. Toward the center of the island, you can see the old plantation house. Wanted that turtle. I'm gonna say vicious gators inhabit the swamps surrounding the island. We should probably not get into the water. Ah! <gasps> Hey, Teapot. A poisonous alligator. <laughs> You're walking along the south edge of the Bayou Island. An old road runs alongside the old plantation's front wrought iron fence. From here, you can see the east edge of the main circular driveway. Oh, an owl. Nightly road and patrol. He plays, pays little attention to you. There's so much. Oh my god, I do need a map. You're standing at the east side of the circular gravel driveway uh, leading to the old plantation house. Oh, I saw the ring. This is a bad idea. <laughs> you look into the well, but as it's deep and dark, you can't see much. Crank. Bully. Crank. Crank. Well. Use crank. Uh. Turn crank. Neato. A leaky oaken bucket barely holds water. Take bucket? Bucket belongs to the well. Oh. Okay, interesting. The sound effects really are interesting. <laughs> Alright, good to know. <gasps> A hypo record. Oh, I didn't mean to throw it. Wait, do we need to look inside of his house? 
If you're under the dark interior of the doghouse and look around, what's this? Why, it looks like a necklace of small amethyst and quartz stones. Beauregard must have found it someplace and brought it here. You quickly grab it and take it with you. That's a good dog. That's a good dog. Beauregard, where's the key to the cellar? It's open now. Okay. This must be the butler's room, actually. It's not too bad. The butler. I forgot about Jeeves. That's not a good thing to do in a murder mystery. A dog burglar. <laughs> uh, a small dresser. Oh, he's sleeping. I didn't even see him there. Oh, we gotta be sneaky. Box of crackers. I need those. Jesus, toilet. You need to use one. Go upstairs. No, I need the dumb waiter. Surely that's down here, right? Mirrored medicine cabinet. Okay, open. Okay, we need to move. Wish we could sneak. Great. Right? It's very uncool. Take cracker. You ask Jeeves if you can have the crackers. He nods his head in approval. Thanks, Jeeves. Here we really are, Snoop, Laura. There's nothing here for- What are you calling me a Snoop twice for and killing me for at once? This is a point-and-click mystery adventure murder game. Hell yeah, I'm gonna Snoop. What wall? Portion of the back wall does look different than the rest. It appears to have been bricked up. Dead ex wives are buried. What happens if I flush his toilet? Yeah. Wasn't it just kind of like an amalgam, like a combination of a bunch of search engines, though? Or was that. Maybe that was something else. Alright, I guess we can leave. Hi, Laura. Having fun? Mm-hmm. I'm having so much fun. I am, actually. But not- I wouldn't if I were Laura. <laughs> I'd be like, what the heck? Take... Peace? Take statue? Alright. <gasps> There's somebody outside! There's somebody outside! I do keep coming in here. I do love food, but there's somebody outside. There's somebody outside. You're such a friend. Thank you for caring not at all about anything I have to say in this house where people are getting murdered. Thank you for the I should not have come right out here where the murderer was, presumably. Alright, who's dead? I bet it's Ethel. Uh, I guess we could show him the handkerchief. Handkerchief. Looks like he's just like staring at a taco. Just contemplating life. <laughs> Doesn't look familiar to me. Ask Ethel about it. Well, you know, asking Ethel about anything's a little difficult right now. Taco is life. Just petting it. <laughs> like I know it's a book, but good taco. Taco cat. <laughs> the murderer. I see you. Where you keep going? Yeah, 
was a murderer outside Ethel. Pay attention to me. I don't think we need to be giving the bird a cracker yet. Apple doesn't watch you. Give the cracker to the parrot. Ah, oh, gonna tell him, tell him, racehorse cam. Ah. Oh. <sighs> well, I already knew that. So was Ethel? Ethel knows. Or the dudes were in here. As if that's something strange. You're right. It's very normal. Oh, act three. Dang. But maybe now we can actually talk to Gloria. Maybe. Competition. Everything all right, Gloria? I suppose, darling. Let's get on with this. Oh, oh. So, Gloria. Well, it's not mine. Tell Gloria about dirty. Mother? Oh no, it can't be. Oh, let me. Oh, wait, where? Wait, wait, was that a. Shit, she's dead. You're very mean. There's nothing there. Oh. I should have told her first. Uh, Laura, will you please step aside? Yes, sorry. E um... Clarence will kill us if we say anything about the horse, I bet. <sighs> I'm so sick of typing the word handkerchief. You don't know nothing about us. Alright, they seem to get along. This is their room. Music and billiards. Scared to check the closet again. We can't get out on the front veranda thing. Like, if I tell Fifi? Hi, Fifi. I wonder if I could have gotten the record from downstairs. I want to read my book. Uh huh. Looks like not everybody likes cognac around here. Oh, my back. I'd have to get up and stretch soon. Uh, I forgot what I was doing. <gasps> well, now there's nobody in here. Will you say the same thing? Get no reaction. She's after me. Ah, so afraid. Oh. Alright. Uh, but Ethel is in trouble. She's after me. Duly noted. I don't know if we need to go to Ethel's room, maybe? Let's go to 
Maybe either that or I bet she's in the garden. Something looks wrong here. Chair's been knocked over and there are signs of a struggle on the floor. <gasps> what is this? Fireplace poker has been dropped on the library floor. Is it bloody? As you retrieve the fireplace poker, your eyes happen to fall upon some small pink feathers scattered upon the floor. Oh? Who do we know with pink feathers? Fancy Hollywood boa. Alright, so maybe she's in cahoots with Clarence. And Wilbur was gonna spill. Or that's just what we, they want us to think. Somebody took her boa. There's nobody in here. Somebody outside. I want a frying pan. I would feel much more safe. They were in, oh shoot, which room is it? This one? Yes. Oh, hello. Back to listening to music, eh? Just how I found you after the first murder. Okay. Conveniently where I can't talk to you. Really darling, you're interrupting my music. I asked about poker. Still nobody in here. Still don't know how to get in the secret part of that wall. There's still a locked door upstairs. Oh, hello. There was a smell of cigar smoke with the first death. The same for you, kid. Am I the kid? I'm talking to you right now. Aaron sudden, sullenly looks your way. It doesn't appear that he wants anything to do with you. Rudy seems to be occupied by other matters. He really glances at it. Uh huh. How are we not dead yet? Rudy shoots an angry look at you. It's obvious that he's in no mood again. Fine, punks. Get myrtleized for all I care. So many people have just disappeared. Wait, what's this? That's different. Find open magazine on the library table. Why? This must be the magazine that Wilbur is reading. Do we really want to look at it? 
You read the name of the magazine, it's called The Race Horse Quarterly. Upon examining the open page, you see a picture of a beautiful thoroughbred named Sunny Boy. The name Sunny Boy has been circled in red. Yeah, okay, but Sunny Boy is dead then, right? Or... That's who they're betting on next. I love some southern accents. Always somebody snooping around outside. <gasps> Ethel! Talk, come back. Ethel! Oh, back so soon, Laura. Um, help, help. Grab Ethel. Ethel? Ethel disappeared into the abyss. Unless she's faking it. Where'd she go? <laughs> oh, I forgot that there were more sections outside. Oh, no, go back. What did it say? Standing on the west side of the circular, what is over here? Oh, besides Ethel. Oh my god, Ethel, I'm very worried about you. Please be careful. I want to help Ethel. Uh, I guess we'll follow her? You come upon a ramshackle little playhouse. Hanging from a nearby tree, you see an old rope swing. Saying these long ago play things makes you wonder about the children who used to live here. Bye. Yeah, this is gonna be bad. There was like the nursery, and now this. And what's all back here? Gingerly, you sit in the swing. Aww. An old playhouse that lo some children, long ago children, played in. It's gonna be fine, surely, right? Nothing spooky at all. Hi, L L Lillian. 